It's a beautiful day, so I'm at the park again. Um, I have my 15 pound steel mace, uh, 7 pound steel mace, and my 25 pound kettlebell. I'm gonna make use of all these things to uh, make a flowy workout. Uh, some stuff may not be very flowy, but mostly flowy. So, with the steel mace, I'm going from uh, Steel Mace 360 into kind of like the shoulder rack squat. I'm going to go five each side. Uh, then with the kettlebell, using a suitcase hold, I'm going to do a knee to chest for from a lunge for eight reps. All of that looks like this. Then with the kettlebell, I'm going to have it in a suitcase hold, start off in a lunge position and then come up and do a knee to chest at the same time. Switching sides after eight. So yeah gonna do these back to back for five sets um knee to chest good for legs although whole circuit kind of focuses a lot on legs but with the moving steel mace and the moving kettlebell and stuff there's a lot of core involved and a lot of other muscle groups involved so yeah good full body movement but primary focus on legs A random thought before I move into the next exercise. So I noticed that the sun is in the background. It's kind of crazy that there's this huge ball of fire so many miles away that lights up the planet. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I was also thinking of it in terms of like computer graphics class. So when I took computer graphics, one of the projects that I had to do was have an object light producing object that goes around like a flat surface and have the light change with respect to whatever's on that surface. In any case, uh, I hate computer graphics from a coding perspective, but you know, sometimes it feels like, oh, I'm just an object in a graphical universe with another object that produces light. And uh, yeah. It's something just silly that was that I was thinking about, uh, which is also why I chose to have the angle this way, so that the sun is in the background for this. I hope it doesn't interfere with uh, the demonstration of the exercise, but I guess it is what it is. So I'm gonna do a two-part thing. So I'm gonna start off with the kettlebell, and 
I'm going to keep my legs shoulder width apart. Then I'm going to reverse clean it. So clean with the reverse grip, it goes kind of into a zerker position. Lunge at the same time. Then do a figure eight into a curtsy lunge. Switch and repeat. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, that looks like this. So going for five each side of that, and then with the steel mace, I'm gonna go for a 360 to a drop squat, five each side. Looks like this. So, if you guys notice, there's a flowy element to both those movements where you can move from one movement to the other in kind of like a pattern versus having to stop and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna do this for five sets. Here's another angle of the kettlebell exercise. So for the next exercise, I'm going to use my lighter steel mace and uh, going to hold the kettlebell in my other hand. I'm going to do a single arm 360 and then go into a lunge. i uh, going to do five each side, it looks like this.
Then going to move into these kneeling kettlebell swings, uh, but with one leg outstretched. Looks like this. Uh, it really allows to focus on the thrust of one leg at a time. I wish this kettlebell was a little smaller. Uh, I have to hold it weird to do the swing. Uh, but yeah. With that move, I'm really able to feel the thrust on one glute at a time. So yeah, it's a good way to isolate and make sure uh, that you're thrusting evenly with either glute. But yeah, I'm gonna do this for a bit. Um, I'm kind of thinking that this might be the last weight training movement and I might go into some jumps and sprints after this. But let's see what happens. Decided to do some kettlebell juggling freestyle before I do my sprints. <laughs> <laughs> 